Good evening once again everyone. And we'd like to welcome everyone to the 32nd annual Plymouth State University Athletic Hall of Fame Banquet. This is a great time of year for PSU Athletics. We have beautiful foliage on campus. The fall sports are heading down the home stretch towards the playoffs. The exciting uh, winter teams are about getting ready to start. And we have two new facilities we've opened in the past six years. The indoor track across the fields behind me and this beautiful facility we're in tonight. So things are really happening well with Plymouth State Athletics. Tonight we also take time to blend together different eras and generations of Plymouth State Athletics, recognizing the outstanding contributions of this past year's student athletes and honor the history and heritage with the Hall of Fame induction. We don't have an exact count, but it's safe to say we've had tens of thousands of student athletes at Plymouth State, and after tonight there will be just 183 people in the Hall of Fame, so it's quite an honor. In addition to the teams, coaches, administrators, publicists, and athletic pioneers, we have recognized former Plymouth State student athletes in 22 different sports. This event is special not only to athletics, but in our entire Plymouth State community. So at this time, I'd like to start the evening off with a special welcome from our interim director of athletics. Please welcome Ms. Kim Bounds. Hi everybody, uh, I think I know almost everybody in here, which is really cool. Um, I'm not very good at speaking just off the cuff, so I have a couple little notes, but um, besides welcoming you here tonight, uh, I want to tell you that this is my favorite event of the year, and I want to talk a little bit about what it means to be in a Hall of Fame. Doing the things that you've done that's what's made Plymouth State a better place. Um, everyone's degree is worth more because of the inductees and the students who are getting awards tonight. <clears throat> it also goes for our student award winners that I say, please take in everything tonight, realize what you've done, and aspire to be just like our inductees tonight, who have done great things as they've left the state. A good friend of mine who's here tonight, Nick Velas, who's a, an inductee, um, he, I went to a, a, a talk that he gave once, and he said, uh, talking about philanthropy, and it really resonated with me, he said, being a philanthropist is a selfish thing. You give because it makes you feel good. And I really hope that everybody here, whether you can give financially or whether you can give of yourself, realize how special Plymouth State is and continue to give in whatever way that you can. Um, <clears throat> we have student award winners who aren't here tonight. And we, what we do is we do the awards from last year, uh, the end of the year awards, and um, we bring the students here this year. Many students um, were seniors who won the awards and are now working in various places. So either they couldn't, I've spoken to all of them, either they couldn't get off work or they're working in a faraway place. Um, one example is Freitas Hala Einer's daughter, who's um, the um, female athlete of the year. She's a ski racer. She's over in Austria and she is trying to get on her, um, the Icelandic Olympic team. So there are a lot of really cool things happening around the world with our Plymouth State, um, with our Plymouth State students. Um, we are going to be beginning a campaign um, for our uh, dream facility. And I just want everybody to be aware of that. More information will be coming out. I've put up uh, two boards that you can look at and um, so we will be calling on 
everybody here, all of us, you can buy a blade of grass or you can buy something bigger, but <laughs> I really hope that you help make our, our dreams come true here. Um, again, the impact that our inductees tonight have had on Plymouth State is just immeasurable. And the people that you are, the, the things that you've done, make us who we are. You can't go anywhere in this world without finding someone who has had or knows somebody from Plymouth State. I gave a ski team sweatshirt one time to a friend in Arizona, and um, people were coming up to him, asking him, telling him that, oh, I know someone who was on the Plymouth State ski team. <laughs> so it's unbelievable the far, for such a small school, the far-reaching uh, effects we have. And I cannot thank the inductees enough for what you've done for us as well as the student award winners. We truly appreciate everything you do for Plymouth State and making us all look really good. So thank you and enjoy your evening. It's a big oops. I forgot to introduce our um, wonderful president, President Donald Burks. I didn't get any cheers like you did, Kim. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Hey, thanks so much for coming today. And uh, I just wanted to have a question. How many of you took the time to enjoy the beautiful day outside and watch some of our teams today? <laughs> hey, there were some. I got another question for you. Those of you who have come back now. I, I, this is a question. Were the women better than the men back then too? <laughs> ah. No. <laughs> well, today I think if I'm right, the women won everything across the board, right? Yes. And how did the men do? <laughs> But I will tell you that we're really competitive. We've had a really good year. Compared with last year, I think, uh, I think it's been really good. We're putting more energy and emphasis into the athletics, and we're excited about what the future holds. Uh, keep watching us. Uh, I remember last year, the key point that I, I, I came here, walked down there to the uh, PE Center. I looked outside and I said, oh my goodness, it looks like Something happened here, the land of time forgot or something. <laughs> I walked in the door and there was Kim with a roller, <laughs> rolling paint on it. And I said, oh my, we've got some work to do. But I tell you, I, I read the other day that we have new lockers down there in the men's locker room. I went down there to see them today. It does look better now. It's none up in the uh, swimming area yet. But uh, we've done a lot of things this year uh, to try to start moving things along. We moved the football team into the uh, All Well North, uh, which I think has been really good. And I've, I've really been pleased at the way that's been going this year. And I think, I think we're on a roll. So we, we've come to celebrate those of you who are uh, being inducted. I want to tell you, I came from Penn State. One of the things I heard about first when I came here was how good Plymouth was as in athletics. And I will tell you this, knowing all the coaches here, they're fantastic. They really are. They care about the team. Yeah. So we have great students, great coaches, and a great place, and we're going to make it even better over the next couple of years. So, enough said. Uh, I don't know what comes next. <laughs> so, you. Okay, great. Have a good night. You folks are really lucky tonight because this is usually the spot I do my joke for the night, but I promised I wouldn't do any jokes. That doesn't, that doesn't count, does it? There are a number of people I would like to introduce tonight, and uh, they're really supportive of our athletic program all year long, and we're thrilled that they're here tonight. Um, a few members of the university administration, beginning with our vice president for finance, Ms. Tracy Claybaugh. Um, our Vice President for University Advancement, Ms. Paula Lee Hobson. 
our Dean of Enrollment, Mr. Jason Moran. Our Alumni Director, Mr. Rodney Ekstrom. And our Director of Development and Major Gifts, Mr. John Scheinman. Some of the members of our Senior Athletics Administrative Team, our Associate Athletic Director for Compliance, Ms. Courtney Eau Claire. Our Assistant Athletic Director for Alumni and Enrollment Management, Lauren Levine. And our Assistant Athletic Director and Head Athletic Trainer, Mark Legacy. We have a number of our coaching staff here, and I'm going to introduce them, but I'm going to ask you to hold your applause until I've done the entire coaching staff. Our head women's lacrosse coach, Sandy Bridgman. Feel free to stand as you are introduced. Our assistant cross country and track and field coach, Alice Field. Our head men's and women's alpine ski coach, Andrew Gannon. Our assistant athletic trainer, Eric Gibbs. Our head women's ice hockey coach, Michael Hahn. Assistant men's basketball coach, Nick Hercules. Our head women's soccer coach, Ryan Joy. Our head men's basketball coach, Andrew Novick. Our associate head men's soccer coach, Parker Spear. Our head women's tennis coach, Barb Rolski Willett. Our head men's ice hockey coach, Craig Russell. Our head women's swimming and diving coach, Al Switzer. Our head men's lacrosse coach, Gordon Webb. And our head men's soccer coach, Rob Wright. Thank you to all the coaches. We are also very pleased to have four other special guests with us today. These individuals have previously been inducted into the Hall of Fame, and we're thrilled and honored to have them back today. If you could be uh, stand and be recognized. A former Plymouth State Athletic Administrator and Facilities Coordinator, and a 2011 Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Peter Coffrin. <laughs> former Plymouth State football player and a well-known sports philanthropist in New Hampshire, and a 2011 Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Nick Valis. <laughs> Former Plymouth State men's basketball coach and a 2007 Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Paul Hogan. And former Plymouth State basketball player and former sports information director and a 2003 inductee, Mr. Michael Moffitt. Thank you to our Hall of Fame inductees for coming back. It's always great to have you back. As I mentioned earlier today, we are going to, and Kim has mentioned, we're going to take the time to recognize uh, our student athletes from the previous year. And it, we found it really exciting because our current student athletes and recent graduates have really enjoyed hearing about the Hall of Famers from a generation before. And our Hall of Famers really enjoy hearing what's going on today. So it's been a great uh, thing for our department. So at this time, I'd like to ask Associate Athletic Director Courtney Eau Claire and President Burks to come forward for the presentation of those awards.